Hey guys, it's Ashley from Not A True Reviews and today I'm unboxing the Bookcase Club for August. Um, if you're not familiar, uh, Bookcase Club is a monthly book subscription box that sends you books based upon your preferred genre. Um, I'm doing two, the children's and the YA, but they also additionally have a crime, a sci-fi, a paranormal romance, romance. They also do quarterly cookbook and military history boxes. Each box is $9.99. Um, Plus shipping. So I'm going to link down below to my full blog review. I'm also going to link uh, to Bookcase Club with my affiliate link. And right now we're going to just start opening this baby up. Ah, that's under my mouth. Okay, so this is the YA box. Alright, our first book here is Rite of Passage by Joy Hensley. Okay, my heart has... Let's see what it's about. Read a little synopsis. How about it? Sam McKenna has never turned down a dare, and she's not going to start with the last one her brother gave her before he died. So Sam joins the first of her class of girls at the prestigious Denmark Military Academy. She's expecting push-ups and long runs, rope climbing and mud crawling. As a military brat, uh, she can handle an obstacle course just as well as the boys. She's even expecting the hostility she gets from some of the cadets uh, who don't think girls belong there. What she's not expecting is her fiery attraction to her drill sergeant. Ooh. Uh, but dating is strictly forbidden and Sam won't risk her future or the dare on something so trivial, no matter how much she wants him. As Sam struggles to prove herself, she discovers that some of the boys don't just want her gone. They won't rest until she gives up. When their petty threats turn to brutal hazing, bleeding in every corner of her life, she realizes they are not acting alone. A decades-old secret society is alive and active, and determined to force her out at any cost. Now time's running short. Sam must decide who she can trust and choosing the wrong person could have deadly consequences. Ooh, that sounds suspenseful. All right. And then each of these comes with like a bookmark that tells you the books you're receiving, which is really nice. All right, so our second book is Summer on East End Triple Moon. The short, oh, so there's also a little like bonus short story in here. So here's the little, um, oh no, this is like praise for the book. We want the synopsis. Um, after they cause a terrible accident at their old high school, twin witches, Marty and Molly Overbrook, are sent to live with their aunt, Ingrid Beauchamp, in Northampton on Long Island's misted, shrouded East End. Because the twins cannot control their powers, their father begs in Ingrid to tame them over the summer. Before the White Council exiles the girls to limbo, uh-oh, trouble continues to bubble and boil when the girls meet the younger guard... Gardiner boys, who are just as handsome and sexy as their older kin, but all is not as it seems. As Ingrid helps the girls learn to control their magical impulses, Marty and Molly have just the this summer to figure out how to grow up, how to love, and how to be a family. So that is our YA box, which is always fun and always good. Let's do the children. All right. And I get, because I'm a reviewer, I get like a really good like selection that children's though is uh, tailored to your child's age and gender. Um, so this is just an idea of what you would get. All right. So first we have Miss Brooks Story Nook, where tales are told and ogres are welcome. This looks fun. Companion to New York Times seller Miss Brooks loves books and I don't. Um, so let's look at the images. So this is just going to be a fun, like it talks about when she passes his house on the way to Miss Brooks Story Hour, he always tries to steal her hat and jeers, I'm going to get you. It's vexing. Then when rainy and hatless day, Miss Brooks changes story hour to storytelling hour. She teaches the kids to give out characters and plot and action and satisfying conclusions and encourages them to make up their own tales. And that's when Missy has a brainstorm. She sees a way she might use her made up story to change the course of her real life story with Billy. It's a plot twist sure to result in much more satisfying conclusion. In this terrifically funny follow-up to Miss Brooks Loves Books, and I Don't, Barbara Botner and Michael Emberly celebrate the power of stories and how they can help us to rewrite our own lives. And so here's some of the illustrations. They're just fun, like good for kids, like three, four, Oliver's age, Vivian's age. Um, so there's that. Our next book is, let's say, Me First. Oh, this is perfect for my two. The youngest ones, the two and the four-year-old. Um, 
if there's one thing sibling Hal and Martha can agree on, it's this. It's important to be first. But what happens when being first is suddenly not so much fun. Competing to explore a new route home one day, Hal and Martha discover that sometimes having a big brother or sister right beside you is even better than being one step ahead of them. Max Cornell's relatable tale of sibling rivalry will charm readers and make them laugh with Hal and Martha's constant attempts to outdo each other. I've been here. So this is fun, and it's also like one of those stories that tells us... A, like a gives a good lesson like a good moral lesson and it's cute because they use animals which you know so there's that and we have the tomb robber and king tut so this is going to be like a penny book i'm guessing a storybook with a little more of like geographical knowledge a little bit more history to it like not history but you know like story about a culture um a faraway place things like that this should be interesting. It looks actually really cool. And then find, yay! So this is called, um, from the series, Wow, I Didn't Know That. We've gotten one of these before in a bookcase club. I don't remember which one we got before, but it wasn't this one. Um, this is the, why, um, I didn't know that sharks keep losing their teeth. And other amazing facts about sharks. Penny loves these. Like, really, really, she's a good reader. Like, period. She reads all the time. Um, but they just have tons and tons of facts about different um, animals and like all these things that you wouldn't know naturally. Like, I don't know, very cool books. So that's everything that I received in the bookcase uh, club boxes, the YA and the children's for August. Please do check out my full blog review below and also check out bookcase club. And as always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.